Hello, it is Tuesday the 18th of October 2022. I am at the Motorhome and Caravan Show. The show opens in two hours. I've sneaked in early to give you a quick preview of what's hot and new here at the show. We're going to have fleeting looks, just fleeting looks at some of the most exciting new products. And we're going to start here in hall number 17, 18, 18, 17 on the canal stand. And we're going to look at this, the Canals Azure. Let's get going. So before we go through the price and the, uh, and the interior and uh, the weights and stuff, let's just have a quick chat about the, the construction because this is really interesting. It's actually dry weld. The frame is constructed and then dry welded by a robot. And you can also see that we're on a Canot chassis here with a Canot coupling. We are not on the usual Alco chassis. So it's a brand new method of construction. It's supposed to allow us for more flex. These body panels actually slide in to the, to the frame to allow for contraction and expansion. And then to save weight with the Canot chassis, we've also got plastic corner steadies. I've never seen that before. So that's very interesting. So here's a quick look at the back. So let's have a quick chat about the spec. Now this, in this particular guise, this caravan's going through the tools at just under 40,000 pounds. Its total length is uh, 7.4 meters. And we have an empty PLM of 1,700 kilos with an MIRO, MRO of 1516, giving you a payload of 184. So let's have a quick look inside as we've had a, a sweeping look. So now as we take a look inside, wow, wow, wow. Here's the back of the caravan, so the lounge is at the back. Now it's very swish and part of this construction method means that you don't actually need to have the furniture touch the, the ceiling. So you can see here it's to apparently give you a sort of a better, better sort of view down the caravan, make it more spacious. However, they've sort of contrasted that with this sort of dark finish. And these are all cupboards, I believe. Yeah, there you go. Cocktails, anybody? This is the caravan for cupboard lovers. There are cupboards simply everywhere, everywhere you look. It'd be a nightmare if you're like me and you can't remember where you put anything. So this is your lounge area, freestanding table. I miss a window here. I'm finding it not enough windows and there's no big roof light above. There's this one here where they've put a, a light fitting in. So yeah, I find the lounge is a little bit on the dark side. So we look through now, here's your kitchen. This is just a fleeting look at some of these caravans and motorhomes today. We're gonna to look at some camper vans as well. Uh, all very, very swish. Where's your thing? Three burner hob, your oven's down there. Your TV station is here. And yes, there are more cupboards. And as we go through past the uh, double opening door on the fridge, we come through to the bedroom. It's, it's very boutique hotel, isn't it? It really is very boutique hotel. So this is the Canals Azure on the Canals Tabot stand. And here's your washroom. So obviously you're gonna need, uh, looks like shower curtains go on here to protect, say this, from filling up with water when you're having a shower. So yeah, you're gonna have curtains in here, which is not, you know, it's gonna put some people off, but if you're only gonna use the shower occasionally, that's gonna be no bother. So here we go, this is the Canals Azure 500FU. <laughs> Sounds a bit rude, but very, very swish. 
Now, just as happened in Dusseldorf, as the show got busier, there was interference with my microphone and it interfered with this section of the video, don't worry. We're in Hall 17 and this is the Campod. The Campod is the brainchild of James and Tom, who have been developing this cute little caravan for about five years. They've been building catering trailers for over 10 years. The Campod is available in a range of colors, not just the mint green here. Let's take a closer look. The MRO of this caravan is 750 kilos. The MTPLM goes up to 1000 kilos. Let's pop on the wide angle lens and have a better look inside. So we've got a bit of a step arrangement. We go up and down here and the price, you want to know what the price is. The prices start at 23 and a half thousand pounds. Uh, this one's got a few upgrades on it, just like the solar panel, etc. So it's really something quite different. A nice big panoramic window there. As you can see, the, the sides lift up. So we've got that one is in the closed position and we've got this one in the open position. Now, obviously, oh, let's have a quick look at the, uh, the kitchen before we talk a bit more about the lounge. So we've got the kitchen here. Um, obviously we've got the fancy schmancy, uh, we can change the colour of the lights here as well. Uh, we've got the little sink and a two banner hob. So you notice there's no roof lockers and that, that sort of makes the most of the space available. This is a compact little caravan. So we have a compressor fridge here, works off 12 volts, which is ideal when you've got the solar panel. This dinette here makes up into a Two singles or a large double? No, large no double. just a large double. And what size is that, please, James? It's 180 by uh, 150. 180 by 150. 180. Sorry, 188. Yes. So 188 by 150 is your double bed. And then finally, we've got a little cupboard here to conceal the porta potty. So it's not a fully private bathroom, but you've got a modicum of privacy here. You can sort of open the door there. But the main thing is you've got somewhere to go in the middle of the night when it's pouring hard with rain and you do not want to traipse over to the site facilities. So what a cute little thing. Do come and see James and Tom in hall number 17. We're sort of at the edge of the halls. Uh, we're just a little bit down from the flags there. So as we make our way from hall 18 to 19, you can see we've got my friends here from Kimberley Caravans, or for my fellow Victoria Wood fans, have you seen her? And look what Kimberley has brought with them to the show. Yeah, you can come and see the Explore Active 304 that all the best people buy. Oh, it's locked, I'm a bit early folks. So come and see our friends at Kimberley. They've also got their special editions here. We've got the Compass Kensington. And also they've got the Swift Icon. And little tip for you here, folks. There's gonna be a full in-depth review of the Kimberley Swift Icon on this channel in a few weeks time. And also their Coachman Special Edition. Where's that, where's that, where's that, where's the Coachman? So we're also gonna have a look at the Coachman Kimberley. So that's gonna come up on this channel in a couple of weeks time. In the meantime, if you're coming to the show, do come and see our friends at Kimberley. Um, sort of haul 18 to 19. And look, they even now sell Adria. Does it get any better than that? Now, as we come to the corner of hall number 20, we get to one of the absolute must sees do not miss of the show the brand new Heimer Venture S motorhome. I mean, look at that. We're on a Mercedes chassis. Now, I actually had a proper look at this, folks, at Caravan Salon Dusseldorf just a few weeks ago. So I've already looked at this on a video uh, just as well because it looks like I'm a bit early at the moment. It's still locked. So I'll leave uh, a link to the video where we have a look at the Heimer Venture S in the description below this video so you can have a quick sneak peek before you come to the show. 
if you uh, don't get a chance, do, you can't miss this. It's absolutely beautiful. We're in the corner of hall number 20 on the Heimer stand. Don't miss the Venture S. And here is another absolute don't miss in hall number 20. It is the Bursner Gallery, Liceo, or is it the Liceo Gallery? The Liceo Gallery, the Bursner Liceo Gallery TD Harmony Line 649G. Now you can see the uh, USP on this particular motorhome, and that is the extending roof. So you have the driving characteristics of a low profile, but you've got the bed over the cab as well. We've got the garage at the back, so we'll take a fleeting look inside as we go through the price and the specs. So this particular motorhome is going through the tills at just over, just over a hundred thousand pounds. And its empty PLM is a license busting 3,850 kilos. So you will need to have a C1 license to drive this particular motorhome. So that's a fleeting look inside. And now let's have a closer look. We're on the Fiat Ducato chassis with this motorhome. And this is a German prototype. This is not the finished UK version. So this has got the, the German kitchen. UK kitchen will of course have an oven because we've got to have an oven, haven't we? Uh, that's a cupboard that is but what you want to see folks is this the stairway to heaven yep we have a proper stairway with a rail and everything up to the upstairs bed now obviously you're going to be naturally a bit concerned about this um, sort of thing here but it's apparently been tested up to hurricane strength winds down to minus silly degrees so it actually does feel very snug up here um, I'm not sure how you blank out the morning light that could be a slight issue um, uh, there's a screen on the uh, roof light there but yeah I'm not sure how you would block out the morning light there you might be needing to uh, to take your eye shades um, like Yvonne Stewart Hargreaves for those who who know who Yvonne Stewart Hargreaves is. There's your Fiat Ducato cab, six-speed manual gearbox as standard. Let's have a quick look in the washroom. So a uh, pretty standard executive. Oh you know what we've got the chance for here folks the very first hello of the NEC. And it's got the swinging bulkhead to make a nice shower compartment. And then finally a quick look into the uh, cabin here. So we've got an electric drop down bed over the lounge. You could in theory, I guess, sleep six, but this is only a four berth motorhome because we've only got four homologated travel seats. So there's your seat belt there. So it is only a four berth motorhome, but you could, I think, sleep six. And then we've got the fridge. Oh, that's a bit special. Oh, complete with beer cooler there. Happy days. Or is that your freezer? No, I think that's your freezer, folks. Sorry. Got all excited then. I thought it was a beer cooler, but no, that's the freezer. Yeah, so here you go. This is an absolute star of the show. Don't miss it. The, and it's got a lovely von Fuhlen feeling. I couldn't, um, couldn't get away without saying von Fuhlen. Uh, the Bursner Liceo Gallery Harmony Line. Do come and see it in hall number 20. It's ever so nice. Here we are folks, hall number six, and we are at Swift. Swift are gonna keep us busy today. Swift have got so much new stuff, it's hard to know where to start. 
Well, why don't we start here with the Swift Ascari 372. Now, Ascari is a new brand, spanking new range of motorhomes. Now, and you can see they're very slim line. Now, unfortunately, the specs are not available yet to this motorhome. So, but we'll have a quick look. So as we come in, we can see we've got the half dinette at the front here. Got to say, first impression, looks a bit cramped. Um, it's very hard to tell you about this, folks, without the, uh, without the information. So all I can do, really, is give you a look of how it is. And you'll just have to come to this show. Oh. It's Gladys Pugh. Oh, dear. Come on, Gladys. On your carpet, it is your responsibility to remove the covering. Poly covering on your stand carpet, it is your responsibility to remove this. Thank you. So there you go. Take your poly covering off. So yeah, just give you a feel of this Swift Ascari, and I have to say, folks. I love it. I absolutely love the feel of it. It's it's smart, it's contemporary, and because it's slimline, you're gonna just be that bit more confident when you're touring on those two-way roads that are just a little bit too narrow. Um, we've got a wet room shower here with the mirror for the all-important, hello, sorry, uh, fold down sink. So yeah, I'll leave a link to the Swift website in the description below this video so you can find out a little bit more about this Ascari. Um, first impressions are, yeah, lounge, this front lounge is a bit small, but it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, really, really is. I, um, yes, I highly approve. What else have we got new on the Swift stand for 2023? Let's go and find out. So ha let's have a look at this, the Swift Voyager. So this is a new departure for Swift. Why is it a new departure for Swift? Ha ha ha, we're on a Ford chassis. So you can now buy a Swift on a Ford chassis, which is awesome. Sadly, once again, um, they've not got the information available just yet, because I'm a bit early, the show hasn't opened yet. So I shall direct you to the Swift website, link in the description below, to find out a little bit more about the Swift Voyager on the Ford Transit chassis. But let's have a look inside. So let's pop my wide angle lens on and give you just a feel of it and once again Swift have really knocked the ball out the park in as in the respect of interior styling just awesome it is a luxury loft on wheels it really is it's a feel-good space contemporary stylish all the words Swift you've done it it is absolutely lovely. Oh, I'd love to take one of these away and uh, see how it performs in the real world. I really would. So once again, as I say, sorry folks, um, I'm a little bit early and um, they've not got the uh, information out ready yet and I'm on a tight schedule to get this video edited before I'm on the stage blethering away about electric touring and the drive of a lifetime on the Grace Glockner. So you can see for yourself that it is a gorgeous, gorgeous motorhome. The Ford Transit based Swift Voyager. Come and see it on stand number six, uh, sorry, hall number six. We've got one more model I want to look at on the Swift stand, which I think is gonna be a bit smaller than this one. So here it is, the Swift Base Camp 3, the one we've all been waiting for. I've got to be very quick here because they're playing music and I don't want to get a copyright strike. Beautiful exterior and we'll take a sweeping look at the interior. Right, we've actually now got the information for this caravan. So I can give you some details on it as we have a quick fleeting look at the interior. On the road price is £25,495. MRO is 1,020 kilos, giving you an empty PLM of 1146. That's what, 126 kilos payload. Not a huge amount of payload there. Yeah, only 126 kilos. Not really enough for what the base camp purports to be which is a toy carrier. 
I mean, 120 kilos, four bikes, that's gonna, that's gonna weigh 70 kilos for a start. Although this is only a three berth caravan aimed at couples. So they've ditched the bunk from the base camp four, which is what we were all asking for to give you a small seating room here. But this is your only dinette because the bed is at the front. The bed does fold up. I don't do it just in case I break it, but the bed does fold up. You've got cycle lashings underneath. So it kind of folds in half and then folds up, if you can imagine that. I'm sure there are images on the Swift website. We've got the Dometic fridge here with the uber annoying LEDs. I speak from experience but we've got the super smart Swift Basecamp kitchen with an oven for the all essential pizza. So yeah, really good. We've got the refreshed interior with the blue hints, but we still got the orange. You can see, now to Swift's credit, they do not use show lighting. It's one of their ethos is they don't put extra lights in the caravan. So it does come over as a little bit dark don't be too harsh on them because they are actually very honest about the lighting levels in the caravan, which is quite refreshing at a show. Uh, let's have a look in the bathroom. So same, same washroom as in the Swift Base Camp 4, uh, uh, four yeah. So it's a wet room bathroom, but just what you need. So yeah, here we go. The brand new Swift Base Camp 3, the one we've all been asking for. Right. Here we are in hall number seven, the entrance to hall seven, and we have the lovely people at Paint Seal. Hello, Lisa. Hello, hi. Do you remember what the line is yet? No. And I'll get Andrew to leave a link in the description <laughs> below this video. I can do the actions. You can do the actions. Do the actions. She can do the actions. <laughs> so if you want to come and see the lovely Lisa and just commiserate with her for having such a mean, mean vlogger put all her bloopers and her lo lo lovely husband, Andy, come and see them at Paint Seal. We are by the entrance to Hall 7, aren't we? We are, yes. Yeah. Yes. And, lovely uh, to see you. Yeah. It'd be lovely to see Hello. everyone. And yeah, come and commiserate with Paul Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Have a great show. See you later. Bye. <laughs> right, as we come through from Hall number 8 into Hall number 9, we've got the lovely Rob, uh, Alan Rogers Travel. So, Rob, what do you got here today? So, we have, what have we got? Catbirds. Um, Europe Guide and Motomi Made Simple. Got Sammy Faircloth's Caravan Handbook. Caravan Handbook. More importantly, we've got the latest edition of the Alan Rogers Europe Guide featuring over 400 reviews of the best campsites throughout Europe. The best campsites throughout Europe. And you sent, and well, I went to as one. Used by I, Mr. As, 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 I, as used by me, Camping Voffelgut, which was rather special. So we are, if you want campsite inspiration, or books on motorhoming and caravanning. Come and see the lovely Rob, at Alan Rogers, and we're in the passage, would you say, between halls 10 yes. and nine? In the dingy passage. In between. the dingy passage, <laughs> next to the uh, the caravan and motorhome clubs world tours. Um, and we're near Richard Baldwin, aren't we? They're here, and we've got Rob here. So you're officially hall nine, but you're kind of halfway into hall eight. Yes. 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 So we're in hall number nine and we have come to see our friends at Premium Motorhomes of Doncaster. I've just seen the lovely Mike and he says we can take a look in this beauty here. They've brought no fewer than four Morello motorhomes, motorhomes of dreams. So we'll take a quick, quick shifty at this one, shall we folks? The Morello Empire Liner which is going through the tills at 468,000 pounds. So, I mean, wow, look at it. This is the stuff of dreams. Let me pop my wide angle lens on and then we will go. Oh, I feel so special. Mike did say it's okay, by the way, folks. We're not just breaking in. Oh. Uh-oh, oh no. I thought I'd set an alarm off then. <laughs> oh dear. Right, are we ready? Are we ready for this? Oh my word, look at this. Just look at this. 
Absolutely beautiful. I mean, just, you don't need me to blather away. We've got the Mercedes. Oh gosh, it's not the Actros, the smaller one. Um, but yeah, Mercedes chassis. I'm pretty sure you're gonna need a special license to drive this beauty. L-shaped lounge here. I mean, just look at it, look at it. This is the stuff of dreams, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Um, I mean, you don't need me to blather away. Uh, I'm just gonna play you some music while we look at this. So there we have it folks, the stuff of dreams, the Morello Empire Liner 93 LB. I'll take three. I've come to hall number 11 now to see my friends at Vantage Motorhomes, but you can see on this little stand, this little satellite stand, we're now looking at Vantage camper vans the Luna, closest to the camera, and the Fuse. The Fuse is about £60,000 and the Luna here is about £65,000. And for a departure for Vantage is we are now, once again, can you spot a common theme during this video, folks? On the Ford chassis. Oh, yes, indeedy. So let's pop the wide angle lens on. and take a closer look. So I've just opened up the back to show you where, you'd, where you've got all the storage here. Sort of classic camper van layout. No surprises there. But basically what they've done is they've taken the basic camper van and they have what they've called vantageized it. They've given it that sort of luxury feel and we saw we've got Webasto heating in this one, USB socket. All very nice. It's got a roof bed up there. And this is interesting. They've got three seats up front, include and the double seat also swivels. That is very interesting. So do come and see these folks, the Vantage camper vans in hall number 11. Uh, as I say, it's just got that, that sort of luxury feel to it, the quality of finish. In a camper van, got a little oven there. Really, really lovely. So they've made a, a blooming good job of that. This is the Vantage Camper Vans. That's right, the Vantage Camper Vans Luna, L-U-N-A. While you're in hall number 11, come to the far corner. We're right next to the Vantage Camper Vans here. And come and see the Globe Traveler Voyager Z. Now, unfortunately, the, uh, the folks at Globe Traveler aren't out of bed yet, unfortunately. So I can't show the interior, but the good news is, folks, I looked at the Voyager Z at Caravan Salon Dusseldorf a few years ago. 
I will link to that video in the description below this video so you can have a quick look at the Voyager Z. It's got some really innovative roof beds at the front here. So it is a realistic four berth motorhome. Here in the UK, so it's the first time in the UK, first time we're seeing the Globe Traveller here. This particular model is going through the tills just under £96,000. You've also got to see that rear garage too. Um, so do check out my video about the Voyager Z, link in the description below. But more importantly, if you're coming to the show, do come and see it for yourselves. It's in the corner of hall number 11. They're a little bit tucked out of the way, but it's definitely worth the effort to come and see them. Right, we're still in hall 11. We are next to the Dreamer van conversions stand. And here is the stand we all love to come to, Mackay's Pet Supplies. Aileen, she's gone AWOL. I think she knew I was coming. But yeah, if anyone needs to buy treats for Dougal, ha <laughs> ha, I'm sure he'd like to try the veggie ones. We've got veggie dog treats here. So I'm sure Dougal would like to try the veggie dog treats. We might have to come back when Aileen's here and um, get Dougal some dog treats. So Hall 11, do come and see the lovely Aileen, Mackay's Pet Supplies. And then finally, here we are in hall number 12. Oh my goodness, they will let anybody into the show these days. It's Stacey and Jamie, the McNeils on wheels. Morning. Good morning, good morning. So what have we got here? We've got our range of paper goods that we're selling, all caravan themed, all humorous. You need a sense of humor to uh, appreciate the artwork here. Um, but all the artwork is drawn by my Wonderful wife Stacey. Your glamorous assistant Stacey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm Does. doing the form of greeting cards, calendars, and travel journals. You've got the lot. Yeah. Got the lot. Fantastic. Pop it down and have a look. And we are in hall number 12, aren't yeah, we? we are. And we're in the corner next to Freedom Caravans. So cute caravans, cute cards. Yay! <laughs> Yay. Right, I've managed to get around the halls in a couple of hours. The show is about to start, and you can see that it's just a little bit busier here now than it was when I did my vlog on Sunday. They are, they are expecting well over 100,000 people to come and visit the Motorhome and Caravan Show 2022 at the NEC. There are some of the highlights, just a quick taste. Hopefully do some more videos looking at some of those models and more in more depth. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Folks, if you did, you know what to do. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you don't already, and it just leaves me to say from Dougal, who's with my mum, and from me, thanks for tuning in. Motorhome and Caravan Show is now open. We hope you have a 